Alright, so I figured I'd do a quick video about this creating a relief from um, from a photo because I had some issues with it and um, yeah, anyway. So we go to import, import our photo that we want and I used this guy and do you see it imports it really really big at first so we gotta I gotta size it down oh no wasn't having issues with that before anyways um for now yeah f9 usually centers it um so then select the model and you can edit it however you see fit um this seem to work for me. Um, then I in uh, sorry. Then we paste it. I then inverted it because I wanted it to be kind of embossed. And these are going to be pretty small, so I'm not terribly worried about the detail. Then you can. Um, then I'll smooth the relief a little bit until I kind of get what I what I want. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Um, all this background is going to be gone here in, in a second anyway. Okay, so then what we need to do is draw a rectangle around the whole piece and another rectangle inside this piece and cool then select both of them and zero inside vector um, so I, I don't know, so this just kind of made this square smaller. This is just what I did, but um, we may be able to skip that step now that I'm thinking about it. But anyway, um, then I go ahead and delete this. Then we create a mesh, and it only let me, before it only let me create the open mesh, but it might let me create a closed one now for some reason. Yeah, I failed to create it. So for some reason, it only creates an open. Um, the tolerances, I found that 0 0.001 um, worked the best, it was the smoothest model. If you 0 0.01, it was all like jagged, and um, which was what's set there normally um, uh, when you first open it anyway. Cool, so we'll create an open mesh with that tolerance, and you get this guy. Then we save it, and save it. Uh, I'm just going to call it a test because I don't want to uh, confuse it. Cool. Create. And we get our mesh. Cool. Then I import the new. I go to a new model and import this one. Now, see how it's got like this, um, it's got this box around it. So if I were to go to zero here, or zero, I, I thought I was gonna be able to just move this below the plane and um, and kind of get rid of this box, but that did not be, was not the case. So, all right, we'll zero that, uh, and then I paste it, and I want to get rid of this, so it's on top now, but it's still kind of, but the pelicans are still even with the top of this plane, 
So what I did was drew a box, draw another box, and select both again. Zero. Boom. And we've got our pelicans on that are above the plane. And then I create another mesh. And we save it. Okay, so cool. Now I go. Maybe I can just, maybe I can just, uh, yeah, I haven't been able to figure out how to, um, anyway. The, f the easiest way I do this is I just do a new model. I import the one I just made. Cool. Minus 0.1. Let's see what where we get rid of it at. And you'll kind of have to play around with it a little bit. Um, and again, um, I played around with this for a little while before I got the model that I wanted. So this is kind of just rough and kind of give you an idea. Um, so now um, we kind of gotten we've gotten rid of that box. Um, that we had before, see how it's raised there. Cool. And paste. Now we can export this or create a mesh for this. And we just have our pelicans. Cool. And then to show you, we can just import Not perfect, but um, I think for the purposes of my, it'll be pretty small and you're not going to be able to see a ton of detail anyway. So this is going to work for me. Cool.